Greetings, Graveyard Disciples, and welcome to another edition of Scared Sheetless. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, the, the Lisbon Town Hall, uh, located in my hometown for the past 31 years, uh, Lisbon, New Hampshire. A very small town of just, uh, according to Wikipedia, uh, do, do 1,621 people. This is according to a 2020 census. It's funny, in my article I'm going to be reading from, I, <laughs> this is from a census conducted in 2000, there was 1,587. Ooh, <laughs> a big surge of a population there. Uh, the past 20 years. Um, so, yeah, so this article I'm going to be reading today, which I wrote uh, back, uh, it was published on February 6, 2009. Uh, so let's get to it, shall we? Okay. <clears throat> Our story takes place in the center icon of the town of Lisbon, the town hall. The town hall began, began construction in 1901 after its predecessor that was located on Main Street was destroyed in a tragic fire of 1901. In 1902, the building was near completion and ready to be used. The town hall at one time even had a balcony, which altogether included the 700 seen below, could fit a grand total of 850 people. However, the balcony, which was also called the Golden Horseshoe, was eventually torn down in the 1950s, so it could be easier for those to play basketball. If you go to the town clerk's office and look to your right, on the town hall where the, there will be a picture of the balcony. Of course, when I was there asking questions about the town hall and also getting information of a paranormal investigation that took place there, I found myself observing the picture to see if I could see someone sit up in the balcony. But nobody was in the picture, or... That was visible to the eye, at least. Ooh, spooky. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I probably, uh, just, uh, just to interrupt my own article, um, if I published this in 2009, I probably did my investigated, quote-unquote, uh, around the same time. You know, uh, <laughs> it's been a while since 2009, so maybe that picture's been moved, so, but yeah, um, Let's get back to it. I've heard for about 10 years that the uh, Lisbon Town Hall is one of the biggest haunted hot spots in the local area. I forget who told me the story first. I swear at the age of 20, I, ha I already have dementia. Buddy, I'm 14 years older now, and <laughs> trust me, it gets worse past me. Uh, the original story of the cause of the haunted has now been deemed as false. But uh, for those who didn't know the original story, here it is. One night, a worker in the 1950s hung himself off the staircase, and the rest, you could say, was a haunted history. But when I went to the town hall to further investigate this myth, nobody, not even the town clerk Charlotte, even knew about it, and she's been working there for 42 years. So like I said, the story is untrue. However, she did tell me that when she first started working there, she had the night shift and would hear someone walking down or up the steps when she was the only person in the building. The ghost does like to keep everyone on their toes, though, especially the police who are located on the ground level of the town hall said that they could hear footsteps on the stairs above, and, ab and upon further investigation, they were the only ones there. There's also been other occurrences as well, such as during a third grade party, uh, play, excuse me, a girl saw a man sitting on the stairs, and when she asked her parents who that was, they saw nobody there, but the girl still could. Did the girl really see a spirit, or was it just those overreactive imaginations uh, that kids tend to have? Who knows for sure. Uh, finally, an investigation was called in, and the Northeastern Paranormal Investigators uh, were her the ones called. And on October 25th, 2008, uh, coincidental, six days before Halloween, the answers were finally going to be answered. I had the uh, privilege of having a uh, on the phone conversation with both Nepi co-founders uh, Nancy Fortune and uh, Tony Artelino. 
about the case. They said they thought the case was a success, even though that the weather and the age of the building definitely played uh, some factors in the investigation. The building is well over 100 years old, so of course it's going to creak and settle. But as Nancy said, that anyone can tell the difference between a house settling and human footsteps. Also, during one point of the investigation, they were upstairs. Nancy and another Nippy uh, team member uh, suddenly they heard someone walking up the stairs at them. Keep in mind, nobody was downstairs. If that doesn't cause goosebumps or ghost bumps, <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, then I don't know what will. Also, they uh, brought motion detectors with them, and that also went off when there was nobody there. Nappy had a raffle and a meet and greet before the investigation went on, where two lucky winners, one male and one female, got to go on the investigation with them. According to Tolly, they both saw a gray figure or a shadow. Uh, now, when one person sees it and nobody else does, then of course anyone's going to be skeptical. But when two people see it, the chances of it being false just about goes out the window. Uh, Nepi hopes to do a second investigation of the town hall at one point. Uh, spoiler alert, it's been 14 years, well, actually more than 14 years now. And I have, and I joined them uh, later that year, uh, 2009. Uh, we, we never did, uh, which is too bad. Uh, hopefully we do, so that way I can do a follow-up to this article. Um, better late than ever, right? Okay, before I end this call up or video, I should say, I would like to thank Nancy and Tony for their time to explain how the investigation went. Uh, I have a feeling you'll be seeing a lot more of the Nepi crew in my uh, future columns. That is an underestimate, my friend. Uh, they, they become a pretty pro prominent part in uh, future articles. Uh, and then, da da da, uh, their website is no longer active. Um, and actually, uh, Nepi is kind of uh, inactive right now, too. But, yeah, that's the end of the article quickie there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, yep, uh, just a quick video. I, I do apologize for if you can hear the fan in the background. Um, it is hot in New Hampshire today. Um, I don't have the... Nope, wrong town. Um... 65, okay, yeah, that's not hot, but I know some Southern folks who may watch this are probably not, uh, they're probably like, oh, that's hot to you? Yes, yes it is. <coughs> we New Hampshireites like our, like our cold, <laughs> except for during the winter time, we get kind of sick of it pretty quick then. Uh, but yes, uh, I used to see, I see the town hall all the time, uh, you'll see some pictures of it um, in, the, in this video. I'm uh, not sure which one um, you'll be seeing right now, but uh, I actually have some family history with the town hall. My grandfather, uh, Richard, actually, I have two grandfathers named Richard, so that's kind of hard, but uh, the one with my last name, <laughs> uh, Parody, um, he, uh, he actually painted the town hall, and he used to hang out with the sheriff there. Uh, they used to play cards, I believe, uh, poker, most likely. <laughs> Or, or blackjack. Um, I, I believe it was in the basement. I mean, my grandfather since has passed away, so I can't ask. I can't verify with him. Uh, but yeah, he painted it once and uh, or twice. I, I don't know how many times and uh, and hung out there. So uh, yeah, so I have some family history there. Uh, pretty good sized building. Um, the uh, the gymnasium. Um, is probably the, the biggest part in there. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, the fire station used to be there too, but that has recently moved. Uh, other than that, I didn't really, uh, haven't really gotten too much feedback on, on there being much hauntings in there, but, uh, uh, yeah, from what I could gather, it, there's definitely activity there. Um, but yeah, oh, and I meant to mention, uh, that, uh, Charlotte uh, did work there for quite a while after I wrote this article, but uh, but she has since retired. I don't know much else, uh, you know, because she was probably in her 70s or 80s when she retired. That was about, oh, I don't know, five to eight years ago maybe when she retired. 
a uh, very nice lady. Um, and I thank her uh, for help. She was a huge help uh, when I was writing this article. She gave me a book uh, to, to tell me the history about um, the town hall in Lisbon itself. Um, she also gave, uh, gave me uh, uh, Nancy and uh, Anthony's numbers. Uh, so I could get a hold of them, or actually, I think I may have emailed them on their website. I think she told me about the website. Um, yeah, so, uh, so yeah. Hey, if it wasn't for uh, Charlotte, I would have never, uh, never would have gotten hooked up with uh, with uh, Neppy and had some fun with uh, investigating with them. So uh, yeah, so thank you, Charlotte. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you'll probably never see this, uh, but thank you all the same. Uh, so yeah, uh, this article was uh, was uh, pretty special to me because, like I said, it was my intro introductory to to one of my local haunts. You know, Bethlehem is you know a town over for uh, actually two towns over for me. Uh, still local, but Lisbon's the Lisbon's my hometown. So pretty cool to know that there's a couple uh, local haunts here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm terrible at ending these, so uh, we're going to call it there. Um, wow, 11 minutes, okay. Um, but yeah, in the, in the description below, I do have uh, I do have a link to the article. Um, I do have to rewrite a lot of it because, you know, as I was reading it, as I was going through it, I was like, oh my god, man. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I gotta redo this a little bit, but uh, I made sure to make it at least make sense while I was talking on here. Um, so yeah, a link to the article I just read will be in the description, as well as a link to Scared Sheetless. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, <clears throat> oh god, take a drink, damn it. Uh, and uh, keep it scary. I I'll have a new uh, new article, uh, new video, I should say. Uh, God, switching from articles to doing videos has been quite the trip. Uh, but anyway, uh, see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I am all also open to suggestions for other haunted places, not just located in New Hampshire. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving a like, comment, and subscribing for more Scared Sheetless content. Have a good one, and keep it scary.